when I was a kid, uh, I found that I had a real fear of answering the phone. Which sounds silly now, because um, because particularly the fact that I work in a in a call centre now, of course, and uh, and so a lot of my life I've spent answering the phone and and, and ringing people, um, and actually sort of taking that fear really head on, as it were. It's the fear of a really scary voice on the other end of the phone. I used to <laughs> I used to sit up when I was after I'd been put to bed and um, I had an old black and white TV in my bedroom and I was really young and I shouldn't have been watching TV but there are just some things that stick with you and I remember watching a film and it was a really old fashioned phone and it just kept ringing and ringing and ringing and I don't know even, I don't remember what film it was, it was just a really old film and it was a really old phone and it just kept ringing and ringing but something just stuck with me, I don't know if it was just the continual sound of the ringing, it was eerie and I was just waiting for somebody to pick up the phone and nobody ever did. Does anybody die alone now, really? I mean, it's pretty terrible, isn't it? But I mean, I sort of have this idea that death is like personification, so something will come, and that's pretty terrifying because you don't know exactly what it'd be like. Um, for obvious reasons, I guess um, my fear of lifts is because you're in a really tight and enclosed space, and you might get stuck and trapped there and everything. But I also don't like lifts because I think like people might be stood on the top. Of them, and I always think that the woman's voice that tells you this lift is going up could be somebody stood on top of the lift or stood underneath the lift, and that they might just hack the way through like they do in the Terminator or something. And it just really frightens me that the woman might actually be real, or she sat behind the speaker and she might come out of the speaker or something when she's talking to you. Um, I have to say, it's, it must be quite scary because it's quite lonely. It's a sad way to die. It's a funny one. I think uh, it's got something to do with being gagged, to be honest with you. I don't know why, I just have this, this feeling that uh, anything that can stick to you can potentially sort of cover your mouth or, or your nose or something and sort of suffocate. And so, really. I guess that's kind of probably my main fear about sticky labels. I don't know. I know it sounds stupid, but. There we go.